This is Lindsay Hout, and I'm going to show you a brief tutorial on how to submit your deficiency report to administration. Your deficiency report is due at the halfway point of every quarter, the first, second, third, and fourth quarter of the school year. The purpose of it is more or less a legal notification. This is the school's way of notifying the legal guardians of our students that their child is in danger of failing one or, or more courses at that point. So the criteria for a student being put on the deficiency report is that they have less than a 70% or C average in your class at that time. Uh, a particular student, maybe they're doing fairly well across the board, but maybe their math class or their history class or even one of their elective classes they have less than a 70 percent and so we definitely want to make sure that we are contacting that student's legal guardian and making them aware of the situation. That's not meant to replace the contact that each teacher should be making with that student's parent. If a student is not doing well in your class, whether it is an academic concern or a behavior concern, it's an expectation of you as the teacher to notify their legal guardian as soon as you see something so that we can intervene as early as possible and hopefully turn that student's performance around before the end of the quarter. So about a week before the deficiency reports are due, you will get an email from administration and they will give you a deadline, which is typically a Thursday or Friday. So in that email you'll have an Excel sheet that you need to fill out and resubmit to the SLC clerk that's indicated. Typically it's the junior SLC clerk, um, but whoever it, it is, make sure that you submit the, the report to them by the deadline. So on the Excel spreadsheet you have to provide the student's last name and first name. Notice that they're in separate columns here. Your name and the course that you teach. And then the other column is the student's internal ID. So this is something that new that they asked us to provide last school year. The internal ID is what links that student's name to their personal information in Skyward, which allows for the automated phone call home and basically the automated phone call just says your your son or daughter is in danger of failing one or more classes please check skyward so that's basically all the message states so at that point hopefully it prompts mom dad or grandma or whoever is responsible for that student to check skyward talk to their student contact the school and the teacher and make sure that we're all on the same page Again, the sooner that we intervene with that student, the more likely they are to be successful, which is what we what we all want, of course. So the internal ID can be a little tricky. There's multiple ways that you can get it into the report. You can go into the student's profile and individually copy and paste them, which is a little time consuming. There's other reports that you can get the internal ID from that requires a lot of deleting or hunting. Um, um, but there's also a report that will just give you the student's name and internal ID number, which is what I'm going to show you how to do here. It's the quickest method that I found so far. If you find something faster, please let us know. So this is the Excel spreadsheet that we're going to fill out. And we're going to go ahead and get the information. So from your main page, just go into any grade book. I'm going to go to my first period grade book. I've suppressed my student names to protect their uh, identity here. So normally you would see your students on the far left side. I've just suppressed them for the purpose of this tutorial. So the first thing I want to do is get my grade book that has the student's name and their average. So I'm going to click on this button that says export and then I'm going to click on open the export file. So what this is here is an Excel spreadsheet that looks just like the screen I'm looking at right now. I'm not going to click on this one because that would actually have my 
my students personal information on there so instead I'm going to show you my dummy gradebook here this is exactly what you'll see of course you'll have your student names now these students uh, are completely made up so if you had Nicholas Adams in your class this year it was in fact a completely different Nicholas Adams because this Nicholas Adams has just been made up for the purpose of this tutorial video so I promise you we are not breaking any confidentiality laws here so we only need the students last name and first name and their average so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight columns D through V and I'm just gonna delete these and you don't have to but I'm gonna delete these as well so there we go so we've got the last name the first name and separate column which is great this column here is just their number in the gradebook so I'm going to get rid of that. This is where we're going to put our internal ID numbers that we're going to go ahead and retrieve from Skyward. So now that we've got this set up, we're almost done. We're going to go back to Skyward. We're going to hover over reports and we're going to just scroll down until we can see class roster and click on that. This report will be highlighted. It'll say student name dash class roster and I'm gonna go over here and click the button that says modify parameters of template and this is uh, the section where we can actually get just that student internal the internal ID numbers for just the students with their names and none of the other information now if you do want other information about your student for example their phone number their email address their guardians phone numbers or email addresses Maybe you want your student's birth date if you uh, want to do a birthday calendar in your classroom. So there's all kinds of information that you can get from this report, but we are just interested in the internal ID for the purpose of deficiencies. So all you have to do from here is make sure you're on the appropriate quarter. I'm looking at quarter four. And you want to make sure that this is sorted by last name, just like your grade book is, so that way when we copy and paste these into there the ID number is matched up to the correct student so click on save and it'll bring you back to the screen and we're just gonna export to Excel click on display report when it's ready and again this is the actual report with my students names so instead we're gonna come down and look at the the dummy internal ID report but this is exactly what you'll see when you click on that so it'll be the same class uh, but it'll just have the students last name and first name and it'll have their internal ID number now these internal ID numbers have also been changed so again we are protecting the innocent so I'm gonna copy this column now and in front of where it says last name I'm gonna paste in that information so now this is everything that I need for my deficiency report I have the internal ID I have the last name and the first name all in a separate column and I have the percentage so the reason we want the percentage in there is because now we can highlight all of this and we can sort by the students current grade in the classroom so I'm gonna sort from largest to smallest and I'm gonna look down at the percentages and the first student who has less than a 70 percent is this particular student here so what I can do now is just copy just that section of students which are the students who need to be reported or submitted to administration with their internal ID numbers it's all right there and I can just come over and paste it into my deficiency report so there it is now you can just repeat this for whatever, however many classes you have remaining, whether it's five or six more classes. Um, this should take you maybe 15 to 20 minutes total each time you have to submit deficiencies, perhaps not even that long. And you can easily add your information. I don't know why that one capitalized. And just another little shortcut for Excel. If you highlight that and drag it, it'll just copy and paste it down for you so you would save that to your computer and then just email it back to your administrator or the administrator indicated on the email and you're done
That's all you have to do to submit your deficiency report to administration.